All right, this is first grade lesson 10-8, and we're gonna go through and solve 37, I'm sorry, 36 plus seven using any strategy. So some strategies we learned earlier was a number line. So you could start at 36 and add seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that puts us at 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. But we've also learned how to add them together. We could do 36 in our place value blocks. So we could go 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's see if we can make a bundle of 10. So we have seven here, seven, eight, nine, 10. So we'll take three from here and add them here. So now that becomes a bundle of 10. So let's see how many 10s we have. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. Yep, so just different strategies. There's different ways that you may wanna add them together and you can figure out which way works best for you. Okay, here's our little comic strip. It says find 25 plus 17 in different ways. I used blocks, I made a 10. So this one they're using place value blocks, adding the ones together, getting a group of 10, okay? You can also draw it like what we normally do, or you can do an open number line. And you can even do big hops like groups of 10, fives, and two. You don't have to just do it by ones. So what's great is you can figure out whichever strategy you'd like to do. It says, why can you use different strategies to solve the same problems? Well, they're just different tools. Strategies are tools to help you um, add a little bit quicker. And sometimes it's nice to have the visual pictures and to actually be able to touch the things that you're working with. So 37 plus 24. So they did this one, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, plus 24. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now we have to add our ones together. We know there's seven plus four is 11. So we're gonna make a group here of 10 and then we're gonna add that. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We have six groups of 10 and just this little guy over here, just one in the ones place. Okay, 48 plus 10. So I'm gonna do 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, plus 10. 10 is just like that. That's a one, a one 10 stick. So let's count our, let's see, we had eight ones. So we have eight ones. We can't make a 10 because eight is 10 or less. It's less than 10. And let's count how many 10s we have. One, two, three, four, five. We have five groups of 10. All right, let's head to the independent practice page. For independent practice, you can solve these any way that you'd like. So go ahead and pause the video, work on these on your own, and then come back and check it with me. And we'll see what we've got. Again, you can do it any strategy you like. So let's start with this one, 27 plus nine. For this one, I'm gonna use a number line, 27 plus nine. So let's see, I wanna try and get up to 30, because 30 would be nice and easy for me. So I'm gonna go 27, 28, 29, 30. So I added three and that took me to 30. But I need to figure out, I need to add nine and I've only done three. So three, I need to do how many more hops? So I'm at three, four, five, six, seven, let's see, one, sorry, let me start this over again. Okay, so three plus six, one, two, three, four, five, six, will take us to nine, okay, plus six. These here equal nine. So we're at 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Because we know that 30 plus six is gonna get us to 36. 36, okay? And you can use whatever strategy you'd like to. 50 plus 23, I'm gonna do our place value blocks. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus 23, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. So now I need to get our number in the ones place first. One, two, three. Do I need to make a group of 10? No, because three is less than 10. Now let's count how many tens we have. One group of 10, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven groups of 10, okay? This one over here, 32 plus 28. Now I'm gonna stack this one, 32 plus 28, okay? And I'm gonna do the boxes like we did on our work yesterday. So this is gonna be the ones, and this is gonna be my tens. So 32 is three tens, one, two, three, plus two ones, one, two. And 28 is two tens, one, two, plus eight ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, we've got ten, so you know what we can do? We can bundle this up, we're gonna regroup it, and we're gonna move it over here. Because we can't have a 10 here. We can only have one number in that box, one number in that box. So now how many ones do we have? We have zero ones. We have zero ones. We added a group of tens over here. So this is my tens column. So we're gonna add our group of 10, and let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we have six groups of 10. So we know we have 60 is our sum. Okay, 22 plus 19. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do another open number line. I'm gonna start at 22, and 19 I know is 10 plus nine. So I'm gonna do a hop of 10. So 22 plus 10 is 32. Now I need to do nine more hops. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's count it. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. It should be 41. What did I do here? 10, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So going to 22 plus 10, so it puts us at 41. There we go, okay? All right, let's go ahead and go on to the back page here. All right, Lily makes necklaces. She has 43 blue beads. She has 20 pink beads. How many beads does Lily have in all? So we're gonna be adding these, 43 plus 20. And then it says, we can solve it any way we choose. So I'm actually gonna stack this according to place value and add it top to bottom. And I'm always gonna start with the ones when I stack it. Three plus zero is three, and four plus two is six. I did not need to regroup, and we have 63 beads, okay? Jay has a hat collection. He has 32 hats from football teams. He has 28 hats from baseball teams. How many hats does Jay have in all? So I'm gonna stack these also. 32 plus 28. Now let's take a look here. Two plus eight, uh-oh, that equals 10. Uh, can I have 10 right here? I can't, I can only have one digit. So what I'm gonna do, I know if I look at a 10, I have zero ones, and then I have one group of 10. So I'm gonna put that one group of 10 over here. So I know that three plus two is five, plus one more is six. We have 60 hats. And again, you can solve it however you'd like to. We're just trying out different strategies. Okay, higher order thinking. Connie's soccer team has a bake sale. The team sells 18 banana muffins and 24 oat muffins. They sell 12 granola bars. How many muffins does Connie's team sell? Okay, so it's asking us just for muffins. Do we need to know about the granola bars? Nope, I'm gonna cross that out. Let's get that out of here. We don't need that information. They're trying to confuse us. So I'm just gonna cross that out of here, okay? So we need to know 18 plus 24. So 18 plus 24. So I'm gonna do 18 as place value blocks. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 plus 24. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now let's see how many ones I have. I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, look at that right there. I can make a group of 10. So let's see, I have two ones left over. So I know I'm gonna have a two in the ones place and let's see how many groups of 10 I have. One, two, three, four. 42 muffins is the total that they made. Okay, here's our assessment. 
Gary uses place value blocks to show 63 plus 8. Which of the following model this problem? Choose all that apply. So we're going to find all the ones that are 63 and 8. So let's take a look at this. So 63, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So that's 25 plus 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, yeah, that doesn't work. Let's take a look at this one. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63. Yep, that's 63. Now let's see if this is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, so that shows 63 plus 8. Okay, let's take a look at this one. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 67, uh, 66, sorry, 67, 68, plus, so this, is, this is 68 plus 3, yeah, that, that, we need 63 plus 8. Now, let's take a look at this last one here. This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 71. Now let's take a look. What happens when we add 63 plus 8? What do we get? So we have 63 plus 8. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So this also works. They just regrouped this group here into another group of 10. All right, great job, everybody.